I was invited to take a look at PlayStation's latest exclusive title, Days Gone. Here are my first impressions. Developed by Ben Studio, Days Gone is an action-adventure survival horror game set two years after viruses claim most of humanity. It's a single-player game where players try to survive against mindless creatures called Freakers. You play as Deacon St. John, a motorcycle enthusiast mourning the loss of his girlfriend Sarah. Without giving away too much of the story, this tragedy adds depth and characterization to Deacon that balances out the stereotypes of a biker outlaw. It's not only his story. Experiencing the relationship between him and his best friend Boozer makes you invested in their brotherhood. Plus, the detailed facial expressions and realism of acting makes you glued to every cutscene. Days Gone offers more than your average survival game, but expect familiar elements of the genre like scavenging, crafting, and taking down outposts. However, they build on these elements to create an immersive experience. Instead of taking over enemy outposts guns blazing, you have to think strategically because bullets are in short supply. Your limited ammo supply will force you to use the environment to your advantage. But don't worry, player skills, weapons, and resources will increase with experience, and before you know it, you'll be pumping your enemies full of lead. The abilities you can unlock in Days Gone are not only useful, but they change how you approach challenges throughout the game. For example, unlocking field repairs allows you to fix melee weapons while in combat to give you more of a fighting chance. Trading is also an important part of the game. Before you can start trading, you'll need to earn the trust of a camp. Trust is earned by performing various tasks for that specific camp. Why spend time gaining trust, you ask? Well, that's because each camp offers unique items. For example, Hot Springs is the first camp you could get some weapons, whereas Copeland's camp offers parts to upgrade your bike. Freakers aren't your only concern. In Days Gone, players will have to hold their own against hostile humans, virus-infected animals, and even a cult called Rippers. But all of these aren't as terrifying as fending off hordes of Freakers. Freakers may sound and look like zombies, but there are a few notable differences. Yes, they share similar pastimes, like ripping and eating the flesh of their victims, but they're much more complicated creatures. Freakers have a routine. In the day, they sleep, and at night, they look for food. They drink water and eat other animals, including each other. Weather affects them, and in the cold, they become stronger. Freakers are dynamic beings, and every interaction you have with them is unique, especially if you encounter a horde. While playing, I encountered one of the 40 hordes in the game, and it was extremely intense. I unloaded everything I had at the horde, ran like crazy, and barely survived. The developers cleverly made the Horde gameplay challenging, but not impossible. Freakers use narrow paths that are partially blocked by things like vehicles to keep the Horde at a distance, so you have time to look back and shoot. However, there are some open areas that leave you no choice but to run. I'm excited to put lots of time to exploring this world, but with only a couple hours of playtime, it's hard to know if the gameplay will remain fresh for the full 30 plus hours of the campaign. Regardless, I can't wait to see Deacon's story unfold when Days Gone releases on April 26th.